hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, back to my boxing. Now, man, you see the Gypsy King, man. Gypsy walking on JP, man. Messing with JP. It's crazy stuff, man. Now, Tyson Fury put out uh, some information a couple days ago that Frank Warren admitted that Tyson Fury said he knew some inside people that uh, were inferring that the WBO title was going to be on the line this weekend from... Uh, Tom Schwartz versus Tyson Fury, right? Now, <laughs> you see a title. Frank Warren qu quashes rumors Tyson Fury versus Tom Schwartz could be for the WBO belt, right? In this article, it actually talks about how Frank Warren uh, dispelled the rumors spread by Tyson Fury himself. Tyson Fury himself spread this rumor, right? Now, I'm going to read some quotes for you guys so you guys get a little bit of it, a uh, little bit of the info, and then you guys can read the article yourself. Now, this is what uh, Frank Warren says, right? Oh, this is what the article says. Uh, Fury cut a relaxed figure in a final press conference. Frank Warren has confirmed there is nothing to the rumor Tyson Fury could fight for a WBO title against Tom Schwartz this weekend. Fury, Fury began the rumor. Fury began the rumor himself during fight week, saying inside information had told him the WBO were thinking about stripping Andy Reid due to his muted rematch with Anthony Joshua. The WBO are yet to rule on their mandatory challenge and Warren re revealed to Metro UK Forts, Fury Swartz would not be for the vacant world title. Now, there you guys have it, man. Tyson Fury himself spread this rumor and bam. <laughs> He's messing with Joseph Parker, baby. He is messing with Joseph Parker. Now, for this title shot, before I talk about the whole Tyson Fury JP thing, after this fight's over, they can easily make Tyson Fury, the mandatory. We'll see what happens with that. We'll see what the um, Dave Bo's ruling is after the fight. But that being said, man, Tyson Fury is spreading rumors about Joseph Parker's old title. He's like, yeah, nah, nah, nah. This title's going to be on the line this weekend. No, I, I have inside information, you know, saying that Dave Bo's going to be on the line when I, if I fight Tom Schwartz. Tyson Fury is spreading those rumors. That means he's playing with Joseph Parker because that's Joseph Parker's belt. And he beat unified champion Andy Reese. To get that title. See, I kept telling you guys that, you know, Tyson Fury and Joseph Parker train together. Don't let that don't let that mistake you for them being friends. You know, at the end of the day, they're competitors, they compete against each other, and it's all a competition. Inside and outside the ring. And Tyson Fury's playing mind games outside the ring. I told you guys, man. It's all a game. And it's crazy. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it yesterday and I was like, okay, what does Joseph Parker have? that Tyson Fury has, and what does Tyson Fury have that Joseph Parker doesn't have? See, now, when you hang with somebody, you usually hang with someone because they have something you don't have, right? Now, think about it. Joseph Parker, right? Clean shaven, you know, nice haircut, pretty in the face, you know, nice build, in shape, right? Something Tyson Fury doesn't have. You know, he doesn't have hair, he's not in shape, and he's not always in a suit and tie like my boy JP. Now, 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 let's flip it around. Now, what does JP, what does Tyson Fury have that JP doesn't have? Well, he has the extreme fan base of the UK. You know, he has a huge fan base in the UK. I'm positive, there's no doubt about it, that Tyson Fury can draw bigger crowds than uh, Joseph Parker. And uh, Tyson Fury is just more, he has more, personality let's say he has more personality he's not afraid to be himself he's more spontaneous he's more entertaining to be around so it's oh it's, it's, it's like a yin yang type thing going on with tyson fury and joseph parker they, they they get something from each other from being by each other right you get a nice clean cut look from joseph parker and you get a wild crazy guy with tyson fury tyson fury is extremely popular in the uk uh joseph parker just signed with matchroom so he wants that he wants that association with Tyson Fury to get that popularity himself so there's something to be gained and it's all business guys it's all business there's nothing there's no real friendship going on it's all mutual beneficiary that's all it is it's just mutual benefits from each other 
Now, that being said, man, Tyson Fury put this information out on purpose, man. He's messing with Joseph Parker. He's like, yeah, yeah, I can fight this bum getting his belt. And it was it was rumored that Frank Warren had to dispel himself and say, nah, man, Tyson Fury spread these rumors, but they're not true. All mind games, man. All mind games. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. I thought, I thought it was wild stuff that Tyson Fury would spread something like this to mess with my boy JP, man. To mess with my boy JP. Will JP, will he, will he come back? We clap back. Will they fight for the title? Would they, if if Joseph Parker beats Molina coming up in July, would, would they make that a mandatory fight? Joseph Parker versus Tyson Fury? Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Thought was wild stuff, man. I keep trying to tell you guys, man. They don't like each other. They don't like each other. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.